<clears throat> hey guys, so the first Commander Deck Tech I did was not that bad on my phone. <clears throat> so here I am doing another one. For this commander, <clears throat> I use Karthus Tyrant of Jund. So it is the Jund color combination group. Four of any color, one black, one red, one green. Total of seven converted mana. <clears throat> Excuse me. You get a 7-7 seven, seven Flying Haste. When he enters, gain control of all other dragons, then untap all dragons. Other dragons you control have haste. So, <clears throat> I usually play my commander uh, in my second main phase. I wanted to make a dragon tribal deck, which is what this deck is. Because dragons are my favorite fantasy creature, and so here I am with my dragon deck. I am using the fusion color of dragon shield sleeves. Because it just fits perfect for dragons. So, this deck is f all original cards and double sleeved because <clears throat> I have some nice foils and cards in it. There are some expensive dragons. So, I have non basic lands, but I'm going to show off. Here, let me get a more manageable pile real quick. Okay, first basic lands. <clears throat> I have five swamps, full art, just another regular full art. Here's another foil. Show off my full and yeah, full art game. So that is five swamp, seven mountain, five forest. Uh, for now on, I'm just gonna like quickly go through some of my creatures and stuff, unless I need to explain why it's in here. But overall, it's just gonna be commander staples like command tower, crucible, uh, add mana. I have an artifact land in here because of a creature, which you will see soon, a dull land. Get that mana. Farm another artifact land. Haven of Spirit Dragon because there are a lot of dragons in here. Gem pan Panorama. Panorama. I don't know why I struggled with that. <laughs> Anyways, this is to get lands color I need this is great for tribal in general that creature of that type scry one pretty good savage lynch of course three color combo another hideaway temple of false god it's like a mini soul ring uh, get that color mana you need artifact land unclaimed territory again a great commander tribal Choose the creature type, spend mana on that only on that creature type. So <clears throat> I mean I don't really have to explain those lands because overall they're pretty good. So total of 37 uh, lands in this deck. For creatures, I have a total of 28. And these will appear in the same way it appears in the uh, list <clears throat> so dragon uh basic support dragons you could put a dragon out a uh, dragon servant dragon spells cost less gyra sage you'll probably see this a lot in my big creature decks because it just gives you mana that you can use especially with a big commander with like seven mana you want to get that mana out. This is a new one as well. A nice foil. Dragon Egg. Dragon Spells cost two less. Eternal Wind is staple. Um, land Search. This one is pretty cool actually. 
It works well in this deck because I have nothing but dragons. It'll, it'll eventually be a 4-4. Four, four. Now, in this dragon deck, I want you to look at the toughness of my creatures as well. And if you notice, it's been going from 1 mana to biggest <clears throat> mana cost. Thunder Break, Regina, a great dragon in any dragon deck, basically. Colgan would be a cool dragon by uh, commander by itself, but it's a dragon, so when he attacks, others get plus one, just boost up my dragons. Scourge, again, pretty staple. This dragon is a cat dragon. When it enters, it gives me a 3 3 dragon. Acid Spear. Uh, some of you are probably wondering why this is in here. <clears throat> it's a flying death touch, but with the morph cost, when you place it down, flip it over again, uh, put a plus one plus one counter on each other dragon creature you control. So it just makes my dragons bigger. So again, I have a 4-4 four, four, uh, Hellkite Charger is a 5-5. Five, five. Broadmate is pretty self-explanatory. Hellkite, that's why I have the artifact lands. Because when whenever he attacks, you gain control of that player uh, opponent's artifacts when he deals damage combat damage to a player love this I pretty much got in my pre-release so I wanted to fit it in savage is amazing in dragon decks or any big creature deck because when he attacks he gives you three mana in red and green but you can use that in your second main phase to cast another creature Swift War Kite is to help get my support cards out. Two-headed Dragon can block two um, creatures. And it takes two creatures to block him. So he basically has minutes. And I just love that old art. Victus. Or Vecta, Vecta Victus. I can't say. Entire Ward Ender. Blade Reed Rising. Seize Dragon. Tyrant's Familiar. Wolven Hair Guide. Now, most of these uh, creatures are 4 4, 5 fives. There's a 6 6. There's a 5 4, 6 4. That's important uh, for my enchantment I have in this deck. So, real quick, before I go into Planeswalkers, I'm going to skip out of turn. Actually, no, Planeswalker is pretty self turn. Explains itself. Sarkon. When they're dragon, you control deals damage. Deal one. It just basically helps. And then Dragon Speaker, Sarkon. Believe self explanatory. Now, give my creatures fear. So they can only be blocked by artifact or black creatures. Pretty gross. Supports dragons. Steely Resolve. Choose a creature type. They can't be the targets of spells or abilities. Basically protects my big dragons. Gives my dragons wither. Uh, damage can't be prevented. Players can't gain life. Familiar ground. Each creature you control can't be blocked by more than one creature. So when someone has those 1-1 one -one tokens out. Or multiple creatures out. It's hard to block my creatures. Crucible of dragon gets plus 3 plus 3. All dragon creatures you control. Uh, Sarkon's Unsealing. We have to cast a creature spell, 4, 5, or 6. It deals damage. I have a lot of big creatures in this deck. Or some Surge, again. Burn. Get dead. Kill some creatures with this. Uh, Warstorm Surge. Now this is the enchantment I was talking about. Wild Pair. When Power and Toughness, when a creature enters, um, with the same total power and toughness. So, 6-6 six, six is 12... So if you have another 6-6 six, six or like 5-3, three, 3-5, three, doesn't matter. As long as it equals the same amount added up, you get to search your library for a creature card with the same, put it onto the battlefield. Basically, cheating out my big creatures. So this is why I mentioned the toughness power. Artifacts, pretty uh, important in this deck. Uh, enchantment, where is a total of nine artifacts. I have seven. Soaring, Command Sphere, pretty much staples. Dragon's Horde, 
supports dragons. I get to draw a card. It's man mana ramp as well, or mana rock. Arzurus Incubator. This is a nice old art. Expensive card. Choose a creature type. Spells of that type cost two less to play. So basically helping me cast my creatures. Dragon Throne of Takir. Again, these two are basically the same thing as Urza's. Basically pay four instead of five, six, or seven to get my creatures out onto the battlefield. Pretty, pretty uh, cheatsy way to get creatures out. Lastly, spells. This video is still long. So, 16 spells. Most of them are mana ramps. So I'll go through them quickly. Just to get that mana. There's another mana. This one's pretty good. Destruction. Removal. Removal. Um, when. Damage. Removal. Removal. Search for a dragon. Put into my hand. Decimate is removal. Search for a creature. Uh, this allows me to attack twice this spell. This is removal. Board wipe. And then this one is just in here. I might start changing it out, but it gives my creatures double strike. That's the main reason. And um, all creatures block a creature with this turn. So I could probably kill some creatures. Um, that sums up the deck. Most of these cards. It's a dragon tribal. I, I don't have any of the artifacts that help dragon tribal. That's because I uh, don't feel like I need them. I need those... Artifacts that allow me to cast creatures for less, like a uh, Quicksilver Amulet, Arthur's Incubator, the Bobo's Portal. So, I'm going to again leave my deck list in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed.